Disasters linked to natural hazards happen everywhere in the world, and they are very likely to increase in the future. Between 1994 and 2013, earthquakes caused 750,000 deaths and affected 121 million people. Economic damages are estimated at $660 billion. While floods killed less people, 160,000, it affected over 2.4 billion people. During the same period, landslides led to 18,000 deaths, affecting 6 million people and leading to economic damages of 4.3 billion US dollars. Rapid urbanization is leading to an increased proportion of people at risk, especially in coastal areas. In addition, more than half of the world's largest cities are facing high risk from earthquakes. Science and technology can help prevent and reduce the potential consequences of natural hazards. They can help build resilience of communities and lead to more sustainable development. Investments and the use of science and technology have proven to be effective in reducing the impacts of natural hazards. For example, in 1991, 138,000 people were killed by a Category 4 cyclone in Bangladesh. Later, investments were made in embankments, protective mangrove planting, early warning, risk awareness and contingency planning, and the construction of cyclone shelters. In 2007, when a Category 5 cyclone hit Bangladesh again, loss of human life was reduced 26 times and limited to 5,000 casualties. The MOOC, A Resilient Future, Science and Technology for Disaster Risk Reduction, developed by EPFL, aims to introduce you to existing and emerging technologies in DRR, while promoting the overall goal of sustainable development. This MOOC covers the main DRR topics, risk assessment, prevention, preparedness and early warning, disaster response and emergency relief, reconstruction, and resilience building. We will focus on three main hazards, floods, landslides, and earthquakes. I am Dr. Sylvia Hostetler, Deputy Director of the Cooperation and Development Center at EPFL. Using case studies, examples, and videos, invited guest speakers, EPFL lecturers, and myself will discuss the potential benefits, the challenges, and the limitations of using science and technology in DRR in developed and developing countries. I hope you will join this course to learn more about science and technology for disaster risk reduction. I would also like to invite you to share your experience in science and technology in DRR with me and the other course participants via the online forum. I am looking forward to our discussions and I hope you will enjoy this course.